Well, hi there, beautiful people. Kendall Hailstone here. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is day 18 of my 90 day video challenge. And you might be thinking to yourself, how can I make money with mushrooms in 2021? Well, this video is about nine ways that you can turn mushrooms into cash. And so if that sounds like something of interest to you, please stick around. Uh, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below to the right. Thank you so much. And give this video a thumbs up if you feel like that it was valuable to you at the end here. And go ahead and share this video with your buddies, with your pals, anybody who is interested in mushrooms or has maybe thought about turning mushrooms into a profitable business. This video will hopefully give you some inspiration and some ideas to, to work off of and to uh, hopefully springboard your ideas into a legitimate profitable business. All right, so why don't we go ahead and hop right into it. So option number one, the first and foremost, the most obvious, you can grow your own mushrooms and you can sell them. And you can sell them to a multitude of different uh, people, different parties, you can sell them to local restaurants, they're in very high demand, and you can also sell them to individuals through uh, farmer's markets, you could possibly do a, like an at-home delivery service, you could also possibly set up like a brick and mortar type of business, it can, maybe it could just be out of your house where people just come and buy mushrooms from your home or from like I said, a brick and mortar business. Those are a couple options for you. All right, number two, you could make and sell sterilized rye grain. So in one of my previous videos, we hydrated rye grain and sterilized it. You can actually buy those online and you could be one of those people making them and selling them. And you know, it's pretty simple process. It doesn't take very long. You know, you, there's very little wait time. Whereas, you know, growing your own mushrooms, it takes, you know, uh, I'd say over six weeks or more from start to finish, depending on, you know, how much of the process you do yourself. But anyway, so yeah, number two is you can make and sell sterilized rye grain. Uh, option number three is that you could actually make and sell uh, either inoculated or colonized grain spawn. So, you know, it, taking a one step further from step number two, you could have your sterilized rye grain. You could just inoculate it yourself with whatever, uh, you know, mycelium or wh whatever fungus that you want to grow. And then you can sell either the, the jar, just pre-inoculated and set it away and then have uh, it be colonized on site wherever, you know, whoever buys it, or you could colonize it yourself maybe to like 75% colonization and then send it just so that they are sure you know they have a, a fairly confident reassurance that they have a fully colonized or mostly colonized uh, grain spawn to work with. So that is option number three. All right, so option number four, you could actually make and sell ready to grow mushroom kits. And I'm sure you've seen these online. Maybe you've even bought one and used one. Um, I've actually, I've only ever bought one and I didn't ever end up using it. <laughs> it actually sat dormant in my closet for I think years. <laughs> and I actually did end up opening it and it was a, di a disaster, a huge mess. But that's besides the point is that they're very popular. People, uh, you know, if they wanna grow mushrooms at home, it's a very simple way to do that. You basically just do all the upfront work, mail them something that they could just open up and you know either cut or you know there's multiple different methods to it there's like in boxes there's in bags but anyways so you can mail them something that's just ready to fruit they can you know take whatever steps needed to activate the fruiting process they can spray it you know daily and whatever it's a pretty simple way to go about growing mushrooms so you could actually be on the producing end of that and making your own mushroom to grow kids and selling them to your community so that's another way that you could be making money with mushrooms all right so option number Five, you could actually be growing your own mushrooms, but instead of selling the mushrooms themselves, you can make a secondary product in the form of a supplement or some other type of secondary uh, product. Basically, you can process the mushroom and you can either make like a powder, uh, you know, a nutritional powder that you can add to, to food, or you can do it in the form of a supplement that maybe you had add some other, you know, herbs and adapt, uh, adaptogenic uh, blends where you're just kind of adding as much value as you can, but you're, it's the main uh, meat of that supplement is your, your fruiting body. And there's a lot of mushroom supplements out there, a lot that actually use the mycelium body versus the, the mushroom body. And most, I'd say a uh, vast majority of the beta glucans, which is some of the 
the most potent kind of medicinal properties of the mushrooms themselves are in the fruiting bodies. And so that's really what you want in your supplement is the fruiting body. But a lot of uh, supplements and mushroom based supplements out there today actually primarily use the mycelium body, which still has benefits, but doesn't nearly has, have as many benefits as the fruiting body. So you could be using fruiting body to turn into supplements, which is in very high demand. People are becoming more aware that mushrooms are amazing for you. You know, in China, it, they've been used for thousands of years, and I feel like we're just starting to catch on here in uh, Western Western society here. But in any case, that is another option for you, making secondary products with your mushrooms that you grow. Option number six is you could actually be renting out um, equipment, mushroom growing equipment, to uh, mushroom mushroom growers at you know reasonable cost. You know, if you have some either. You, you can do it in a multitude of ways, whether you invest in buying a bunch of equipment and renting it out, and then it's like an asset that produces cash flow, and that sounds like a good deal. Or if you just have a lot of mushroom equipment laying around, you have a lot of experience, but you're not using it all of it, you could rent out things that you're no longer using to other mushroom growers, so they could start uh, you know, making their own mushrooms. So that could be another potential cash flow there. You could, alternatively, option number seven, you could rent out a spare space in your house or you know in a whatever whether it's like a closet space or a spare bedroom or a basement area that someone could rent to grow mushrooms because i'll, I'll know if i i guess i've been in the situation where i didn't really have a space to a very large space to grow as many mushrooms as i would like and and i actually had my neighbor offer this is where the inspiration came from my neighbor offered me to use his basement to grow the mushrooms very generous of him i'm super grateful for him uh, but in any case so if you could offer that as a you know um, a service to people just renting out your unused spaces in your house to people who want to grow mushrooms so that might be a potential for you as well uh, option number eight is actually something i'm super excited about and i might go in a little bit more detail about this is starting a mushroom growing consultant, uh, consulting agency, I don't want to call, call it an agency, but a consulting business, where you uh, go to people you know, on site, uh, whether it's at their house or business, and you basically, I, I, in my mind, is mainly for you know, at home hobbyist type growers, but this could definitely be scaled up to like mushroom uh, farms and uh, you know, businesses who are wanting to like specialize in growing mushrooms. You could go to their on site and help them set up their whole growing operation, help them with the process. Uh, you know, in originally in my mind, like I said, it was more geared towards home-based hobbyists where you can go to the house, you can uh, help plan their setup, you can buy all the supplies for them, you can go there, set it all up for them, and then uh, then you could possibly do, um, you know, you know, set them up so they can be successful, but but then you know, mainly doing all the the leg work up front, but then a lot teaching them the whole process so they can you know ultimately be doing it on their own. But then maybe you could have like follow up calls or meetings so that you can discuss any uh, problems that they are having or failures or any successes they're having and make any adjustments that may be needed. I just thought that might be cool too. Um, something in. In relation to that, it's possibly possibly making like a video training course of how to grow of how to grow mushrooms, and maybe you could have some type of consulting uh, package coupled with that, and maybe uh, you know because if it's virtual, if you have video courses, you can obviously serve a lot more people versus if you're doing it all in person because uh, there's just only so much time in the day, and that way you could help a lot more people with your uh, with your knowledge and your expertise. But anyways, I thought that would be a cool idea. I'm um, also in the realm of mushroom kind of consulting. You could potentially do like a mushroom foraging consulting business where you actually take people out and you you know charge them for, I don't know, an excursion fee, I guess. I don't know, I, I haven't really hashed out all the details yet, but I just this, this kind of raw idea of taking people out foraging, showing them maybe your locations that you have found mushrooms in the past, and so, you know, I know that that's controversial. And I just talked to a friend recently who said that it is a uh, mushroom forager's sin, actually. <laughs> he used those words to describe sharing with other people your locations where you found other mushrooms. And I'm just like, I don't know. I'm a kind of anti that, that philosophy. I'm more in the mindset of wanting to share knowledge and work together 
and to have more unity and togetherness and that just seems like a very kind of separateness type of energy and so anyways um, which I can relate to people wanting to uh, you know protect their sacred locations where they have you know really good harvesting opportunities but anyways going back to the consulting you could someone could hire you to take you out show you uh, show them your harvest or your foraging locations you could maybe buy the supplies that they need for foraging like a foraging knife a foraging bag or whatever else that they may need you could teach them uh, you know where to look you know what kind of conditions are necessary optimal growing conditions for mushrooms so that they can also be finding their own locations you could teach them about tree identification you can show them how to identify the mushrooms themselves that they are looking for. You can show them how to do spore prints so that they're you know, super confident in, in identifying the mushrooms that they find. And, and so yeah, that's, that's part of this whole mushroom consulting business idea as well, which I've, I'm getting kind of excited about. I, you know, I, I don't feel like I'm an expert, and, but I just feel like it'd be a really cool uh, kind of are arena to get into this mushroom consulting business. And our last option here, number nine, is this is actually inspired from a, a book I'm reading, The uh, Growing Gourmet Medicinal Mushrooms by Paul Stamets. And he has this, this picture, this diagram. I, I don't know exactly how to pronounce this. The Stamitsian? Stamitsian? I don't know. <laughs> it's the, the Stamets Permaculture Garden, uh, kind of mushroom, the Stamets Permaculture Mushroom Garden. And so and it kind of integrates mush growing mushrooms and having a permaculture garden, which I love. I'm totally into permaculture. I'm totally into mushrooms. So that's like literally right up my alley, like dead on the day, you know, dead on the target, my right in my alley. But in any case, you can actually charge potentially people to go into the gardens and inoculate their gardens with mushrooms. So they can be, you know, they obviously do the, the work of preparing the garden itself, but then you go in and you can uh, either bring the substrate or whatever or I mean I don't know exactly how you go about doing it but somehow charge people to go into their gardens and inoculate their garden beds with mushrooms I just thought it would be a cool idea too so anyways that is the nine different ways to uh, turn mushrooms into cash of how to make money with mushrooms in 2021 I hope this was valuable to you I had so much fun making this video I don't know it's uh it's just so exciting talking about talking about all this stuff. First of all, I just love mushrooms and then discussing different ways of adding value to people in a way of exchanging currency and uh, creating financial abundance, um, you know, in terms of helping people with their mushroom problems. I just I just love that. It's like basically exactly what I want to be doing. And so these are all ideas that, uh, you know, I've had for myself, but then I want to share with you and see if, uh, you know, if these are any things that you want to be taking off with and turning into a profitable business for yourself. So anyways, well, I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day. Go ahead and get out of your comfort zone. Go and make mistakes, make failures, come back and learn from them and grow. And, uh, and yeah, just I hope you have a beautiful day full of opportunities to, to serve people. And I will see you tomorrow for day 19 of my 90 day video challenge for well, beautiful people. I'll see you later. Peace.